Hey guys, Spartan Just here. And today I wanted to show you all how to essentially make your forge controls in Halo Infinite very similar to the classic controls compared to, uh, well, let's say Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo 4, and Halo 2 Anniversary, since those classic controls are very similar to each other. And if you're just like me, where you never got into Halo 5's Forge just because the controls got drastically changed, well, hopefully this video will help you out, because Halo Infinite's Forge potential is very vast and very intriguing for an old school forger like myself. Now, keep in mind, this video is more dedicated to the console forgers that have been forging in Halo Reach and all the older Halo games for the longest time by using an Xbox controller. And I'll show you how to essentially use it, because at the end of the day, these controls, they're not exactly like Halo Reach's controls, but rather it's based off of those old Forge controls that's built on the fundamentals and foundation of how Halo Infinite's Forge works. And I'll go into detail explaining how that is set into play. First off, you want to be in your monitor mode, and at the top right of the screen, that shows the default controls for what's already set. For and if you're wishing to change the controls of Halo Infinite's Forge, um, you know, just by pressing start and going to settings, well, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to change your control scheme here for Forge. What you want to do is press X, and that'll bring up your object browser menu. Now, what we want to do is go all the way to the right. Now, this tab is essentially the settings that you set for um, being in Forge. Now, as you can see, I'm highlighted above control scheme where it says default. Now, if we press A, we go to recruit. This is what's essentially the closest to the old school classic controls for our forging. And now that we changed it, what's very similar to the classic controls is that left bumper and right bumper is to go up and down. Pressing A is essentially how you select what you want to do with objects, which is not like grabbing an object like in OG Forge, but we'll get more into that. And uh, also, if you want to zoom around the map, uh, I'm in fast mode right now, but if you want to click the left stick, uh, that will make it so you slow down for those precision movements for objects. Really, the other only difference is that pressing select is how you go into player mode instead of being up on the D-pad like it is in Reach. Uh, since select is now the way to go into player mode, well, it's not just swapping into player mode automatically per se. So there's two different kind of player mode options. The one where you just get to walk around the map and just kind of see how everything is. So I'll just press select once. And yeah, now I'm just kind of walking around. But going back into the monitor mode, if I hold select, well, now you're going to go into an actual gameplay test mode. Now that I've shown you the control scheme that's pretty similar to the classic OG controls for forging in the older Halo games, uh, I'm going to show you how it kind of works in Infinite. Like I said before, it's not exactly like the OG forging controls from the older games. Rather, it's built upon the foundation of Halo Infinite. So what do I mean by that? Well, for instance, you can't just press A to grab an object in this game. Pressing A on an object allows you to have three different functions instead of just entirely being a grab function. For instance, I'm gonna press X to go to our object browser real quick. And I'm gonna to go to Recents just to bring up something simple for us. And I'm gonna bring up this block here. Now having the cursor above this in the OG games, you know, you just press A and it's already automatically grabbed and whatnot. Well, in Halo Infinite, you press A, and since the object is highlighted now, well, as you can see, I'm moving around the crosshair, and it's not moving the object. If you want to move your object like you would in the old school games, uh, you hold the left trigger, and from here, I can move around, I can use left bumper, right bumper to go up and down. But the other two actions I can do with this now, left trigger is a move, right trigger is to rotate, and holding the left trigger and right trigger together um, scales your object. So honestly, this is a really interesting way to use these controls. And once you play around with these controls for a little bit, you kind of get used to it. And honestly, in some ways, it almost feels a little better than the OG controls, but it's kind of hard to say that for nostalgia and muscle memory reasons. <laughs> and if I want to delete an object, it's no longer the Y button, rather it's down on the D-pad. Just like that, the object's gone. Now let's bring that object back to show more things for the controls. So just like in uh, Halo 4 or Halo 2 Anniversary's Forge, you are able to duplicate objects. So in this game, it's up on the D-pad, and down on the D-pad is how you delete. And with the new undo and redo selections, that's also on the D-pad as well. So if I click left on the D-pad, uh, just redid that delete selection, 
And if I go right on the D-pad, well, it undid what I just redid. Now to get access to your objects uh, properties, well, there's two ways to do this. Uh, one, you just press X to open the browser menu and now you press right. And you wanna go to the second tab that says object properties. So you could scale it here if you want. You can move it with the smallest precision if you like. You can rotate it here if you like. You could change the colors and like the texture of the object that you choose. And that in and of itself is fun to just kind of sit down and learn all the different textures and colors that you could combine with each other for each object. Now the second way to access our object properties is, well, have our object highlighted and you hold X this time. Go to Object Browser or Object Property. And also as a side note, if you wanna get rid of that whole button layout at the top right of the corner of the screen, uh, just press X and go back to um, our little settings tab over here, tool settings, and we go to heads up display. Go down here to control helper and you just toggle it off. Now when you're flying around, that huge layout for the buttons won't be blocking up the whole right side of the screen. Now that position setting at the bottom of the screen there, I'm not completely sure how to take that off. Uh, if you know how to, let us all know in the comments section below. This is definitely the closest to the old classic controls. And as an OG forger myself, I, I can't be more happier. So overall, very simple video today. Uh, I just wanted to get the word out because I myself back in the day of Halo 5 was very overwhelmed with the drastic changes. Just not motivating me at all to even make maps in that game. But now with the potential of Halo Infinite's Forge and also with these controls, I'm more than willing to give the Halo Infinite Forge a try. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that good jazz. And uh, don't forget, this is truly Combat Evolved.